Thank you, Shelby Roberts, for doing that. Um, what it is, guys? It's your boy back at it again. Um, today we are playing Colonel Sanders. I almost just mixed up with uh, Clone Hero. Sorry, because I was just playing it like five seconds ago. Um, thank you so much for doing my channel art. Um. I've been meaning to put you in the channel thing, you know. Basically, uh, let's get into it. Oh, God. What am I playing? What am I getting myself into some more? I'm going to have to kind of go back a tiny bit because I learned that this save isn't good in this game. Really isn't that great in the game. I hope it is, but it isn't. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit, blah 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 blah. You find a. Okay, we'll be. Like that, you two are both blah 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 with weird insults beside blah 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 blah. Sweets are it's not gross, sweats it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at the shimmer. Uh, besides, when blank sweat sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmers, shimmer. You take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't... Ah! Fuck! It's a good thing that you don't didn't forget about the... Deodorant. That deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, HOT! Dot dot dot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Sco Cooking School Academy for Learning. What the? F Just shorten it, please. The greatest culinary academy in the world. The, bir the birthplace of culinary legendary legends past. Present and future present and future many challenges await you there are there will be th there will be tears and there will be blood there might even be really adorable tiny food whoa he's pissed and when all is said and done there will be a battle and you will lift your sporks and s compete in the broom cooking arena. Jesus fucking Christ. Mm. Oh. Can I ask why the f is there a person right there? That's weird. Whatever. Just then another student enters the classroom. Wait, hold on. Let me let me make sure. Never mind, it was on. Okay, good. Just making sure I wasn't going through the, the thing alone. Just then, another student uh, enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Student, hi guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone. Had a good summer. I really miss. Quit! Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? 
don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school. With, with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to, to you students. That tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time. Rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Bzzzt. The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom, and everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Sniff, not sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking based on what I'm picking up here. You definitely need some multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles the reputation for being smart, but though is well is well known wow i'm thinking up real bad you decide try to try to and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket but what kind beef rubber ball chicken snack beef treat you reach beneath your apron and uh, return a small bit of beef jerky in your hand sprinkles eyes go wide and he locks onto it beef are you trying to give me a heart attack i would never eat that oh sorry you clearly don't belong here please remove your apron and then remove yourself from this class and this school It seems you reached the end of the line. Chef, a proverbial game over. Give up. Wait. Oh, I wrecked my game. Okay, don't choose beef. Don't choose beef. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna go get my iPad. I hate that intro. I'm back. Sorry. Well, not totally back, but... You know, I'm just getting my iPad so that way I can read some comments. I learned. Don't give your dog beef jerky. Well, don't give that dog at least. Jeez. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Up. I fucked up real bad. You stand on the edge of your. Okay. <gasps> Don't give him beef jerky. 
Take a moment to clean up yourself. Sorry. Uh, rubber ball. You reach beneath your apron and return with a rubber ball in your hand. Sprinkles go eyes go wide as he locks into it. You toss the ball and he bounds after it, grabbing it in his mouth and swinging it from from side to side before dropping it. The thrill passes quickly. It's not clear if you endeared you to him or not. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seat and seats and prepare to have your minds opened to an amazing po to the amazing possibilities of culinary creations. <whistles> Finally, don't give them beef jerky, please. Just apparently don't, which I guess is kind of true. Actually, it wouldn't give a dog. Well, it wouldn't give them a heart attack. It would be something different. It, it's bad for them. Oh wait, no. If it's no, it's not that. It's ah, oh, never mind. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Oh God. Hey, Bruce Brewer, there's still a seat here. There's a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Uh, Colonel Sanders or best friend? I don't know. Wow, um, chat. Please comment. Uh, uh, fuck, there's no one there. Um, uh, 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 eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. You, you move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, it, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that takes you confident and his desire to learn. <sighs> Damn, I don't... I, uh, no, I regret that. No, I regret it. Title screen. Continue. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder what happens if you s don't give up. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna see. Okay, that didn't do much. Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh, what about the other? What happens if you choose the other? Hold on. Pick yourself up. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Chicken sack. You reach beneath your blah, blah, blah. His favorite. Well, 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 I think you, there might be some competition for a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy straw. Okay! Okay then, you see the other students eyeing of you jealousy. You pay no mind to them if they wanted to succeed in life. They should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors 
front on them at all times. Oh, okay. Settle down, young chest. Take your seat and, and prepare to have your mind blown. Blah, 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 blah. You... Blah, 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 blah. I, I, I want best friend. Sorry. Sorry. I died. died. <laughs> Hold on. Are you, hold on. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Ah. <coughs> uh, Where was I? Oh, yeah. You move you to take your seat by Maryam. Huh. Are you a female or a male? Ah, I'm confused. Me confused. Uh, are you a female? Oh, I I gotta look this up. Are you a female or a male? Dumbass or male? Oh. Game of I love you, Colonel. <coughs> Sanders, are you a male or a female? What the? female sorry uh, I'm just gonna say fuck female I'll just say that I'm so glad you have to near me to support me through this class sorry I didn't want to ditch her just like how um, Blair would Of course, my best friend. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would sit by? Colonel Sanders, he has such a ma magnetic personality, and there's a seat open that right next to him. If you have to sat sat there, you might have got to know him a little better. I'd never sacrifice our relation, uh, our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime. So you say, but now that Maryam mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just a daydream, darn dreamy. Is just so darn dreamy. Oh yeah, you're a female. Yeah. Um, or you're a gay guy, which or nothing bad about it to me, Alice. As soon as as you. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Shit. Yay, a quiz about me! No. This incredibly important and surprising short quiz 
Well, tell me if you're if you are ready for life at culinary school. Shit. Hey, are you a ghost dog, dude? Yo, you ghost dog? You ghost dog? <laughs> Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. A train, if train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely looking at you, Pop. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... One. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, shit. Um... Forest is to tree as question is to feather. That's right. There we go. Yeah, I got it right. That what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Uh, meat and rice. No. <laughs> most e eating <laughs> of spork. That's right. Yeah, like a meat and rice. <laughs> Slam your, slam a, um, slam a, um, a hammer right into your mouth. That makes sense. No, forks are, forks, forks. Forks were the most important. I hate sporks. I hate them. What, what food is best for a broken heart? Nope, I get a that top out uh, all five. Damn it. I want all five. Best boy. It's best boy. Son of a bitch. Snack. Best friend. Extremely looking at you, Pop. That's right. Feather. That's right. Ah, <laughs> spork. That's right. Anything as long as it's re prepared for love. Oh. There we go, five out of five. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? You, well, um, uh, um, no. Sorry for the ear rape. Um, sorry, I was trying to. You look up. 
to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tell your score, he's impressed. I know we just met, but I have a have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Um <clears throat> uh, Come again? Yeah, I have a beautiful what? Beautiful brain? Hot diggity, Bruce, you just got score. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. I may have your may I have your attention, students. I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Oh wow. Sorry. Wow. The cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever entered, eaten at. That's uh, kind of sad, but okay. It makes sense at that a school dedicated to cooking w would also be serious about eating. Duh. A delicious fragrance waltz through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? You must be... That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No. I just wanted to apologize about my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd... Like to make an announcement? Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch! She said, shh! In honor of, of our... Of the new semester... I'm, I have prepared something special to share with everyone up for lunch. Uh -huh. You must be that, you must be the smell I smell. Uh, indeed, that smell. <laughs> what just happened? Um, I take offense of that. <laughs> that sounds bad. Ah, that's- you're the smell that I smelled. Indeed! You, you're just not going to take that- okay, good, 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 whatever. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food is this mess- Mastery's student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but- is true. Oh, is this? Colonel Sanders lifts up a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Oh my god. Damn it, now I want KFC. Piled high, piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. Oh wow. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. 
for years I have developed I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. Mm. Damn it, now you're making my mouth water. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices and are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. Literally, that that was in the in a commercial. Literally, I know I'm late on this damn game, but whatever. You look around to no and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. About that. What, you think we want to your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw. Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just, uh, drafting the last of the last will a testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, a uh, poison. Got him! No. He looks around nervously. To see if everyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see that what Zinger Elijah has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dire, dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at the m that moment that only the hands of true gentlemen could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Mm. Oh, please. Mm. Well then, then, the man-man, if you don't want any, I'll take the, his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide he, he starts controlling con contorting his face as he tries to hold his pure experience and unimpressed easy now there is enough for everyone please my fellow classmates dig in <laughs> he's like shit this is good shit this stuff is good Wow, you take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket. You sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. What the f- Um. Testing Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Um... I'll just try that. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. The flavors are so intense, you become wrapped in them. 
Unable to resist, you reach towards the light and grab your hands and pull you closer and closer until your fingertips connect to every end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There is no more. There is no Bruce Brewer now. There is only herbs and spices. Through, through Miriam. Miriam tries to revive you. She cannot. What the fu- <laughs> oh. What? What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> what the fu- <laughs> What? I've already died 17 times. Oh my god, I already died twice. Ah, oh, Jesus. Chicken snack, eat. Best friend. Extremely happy. Ooh, uh, feathers. You cheap, blah 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 blah. Woo! Uh -huh. Okay. Focus your mind and meditate at this moment. You will let the foods rest in your mouth and focus on it. Okay, every flavor. Salt? Maybe. Pepper? Too obvious. Oregano? Basil? Maybe. But there's something else. Something dark. Something spicy. You dig deeper. 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 Yes, even deeper still. Until you find it. Could it be... He really did it. How bold. How adventurous to use. What? What the f- Okay, you try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors, but the revolution alone is how- is more than you can handle. You snap out of it- of it and realize that his- information was meant to remain a secret and yet now you know a mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders as you look around you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch no one noticed that you've traveled through space and time after t tasting his food you try to get some some one on one with Colonel Sanders. You approach Co Colonel Sanders. Okay. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if you could talk, if I could talk to, to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was in that <gasps> chicken? Ha! <laughs> How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me a fortune and establish my legacy for... I had that today, but uh, it's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors 
that will make my fortune as establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days and to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up that easily. But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Aw, you've got moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers, just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use blank. It's something. A great grandmother talking. My great grandmother talking. Blank? Wow! You'd never guess that! In fact, you're not even sure where you'd got get some if you searched. Uh, what's up with the blanks? And blank definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before, you know. So now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe. What the? Uh Yeah? Uh, I'm currently streaming. Alright. Um. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace. She's too hot. They say she's too cold. But she came from nobody really knows. They say she looks young. But since she acts old. From everything I've heard, she gets out of control.